up, boys and ghouls? JT here. A little change of scenery. You got uh, JT's illustrious kitchen in the background, uh, cooking up some pasta back there. <sighs> Smells great. And so if you guys see a fire back there in the back, don't be alarmed. It's just JT cooking up some uh, grub. Anyways, got a DVD update with one Blu-ray. And, uh, you know, that's all I got to say. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to show the Blu-ray. If you guys haven't picked this up yet, you have to pick this up. I mean, this is probably one of the best buys I've gotten in a long time. Evil Dead, sorry about the glare. Evil Dead 2, 25th anniversary Blu-ray. Loaded with special features. Look at all that. Look at all that. I mean, this thing, was it's only 10 bucks, and it's worth that alone just for the special features. And I have the first movie on Blu-ray as well. But, uh... Got to pick this up. The transfer looks amazing. The special features are awesome. And I'm going to do an Evil Dead collection video coming up pretty soon uh, of all my stuff that I have of Evil Dead. Uh, but anyways, now onto the DVDs. This is probably going to be kind of quick. Quick little update here. Got all these at the pond mostly. Uh, some of the big lots. Got Valley Girl, great uh, 80s Nicolas Cage punk uh, sex comedy. Uh, it shows. Uh, Dottie from Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventures. I think that's her, I believe. I would almost bet money on it that it's her. But it shows her uh, breastuses in this movie. So you gotta have that. And uh, next up we got Leon the Professional. Two disc. Got this at Big Lots. Love this movie. Great action movie. Uh, young Natalie Portman in there. Gotta love Leon. Next up, we got Tarantulas, The Deadly Cargo. I showed this in the On the Road with me and J-Dub. Got Tom Atkins in it. Um, still haven't got to keep that one out. Next up, we got Predators, the new Predator movie. Uh, I was happy to find this at the pond for $2. I enjoyed the new Predators movie. I thought it was uh, very well done. Very well. And next up, Jack Brooks, Monster Slayer. And I love this movie. This was a great throwback to like Evil Dead and movies in that style. Just a great monster flick. If you guys haven't seen Jack Brooks, check it out. I got it at Big Lots for three bucks. Next up, we got Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. I think his name. Looks like a cool slasher still. I haven't got to see this yet. I've seen uh, pieces of it, but haven't got to watch it all yet. And these last two uh, were, I was super excited to find. And this one is My Best Friend's a Vampire from the Lost Collection. And I have uh, Slaughter High from this series also. And I really dig these. They put out like obscure 80s movies. And it's been a while since I've seen this one, but I remember like a house. I remember the house and just small parts of it that I, I remember seeing back in the day. And next up is Repossessed. And I used to watch this movie every uh, time I went to my grandma's house. She had this on VHS for some reason. She had a bunch of random VHS like this and Lost Boys and Meatballs 2. She's had a... <laughs> I know she didn't watch them. I don't really know where she got them from, but we used to watch this all the time. And I, I can't wait to check this out again. It's been years. This is a spoof of The Exorcist with Leslie Nielsen. I think it has Linda Blair in it also. And it looks like Ned Beatty. So... Can't wait to check that out again. But that's it for this update, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Gotta go. My food's burning. I smell it. Peace.